Welcome. It's February 2025 and Power BI just released their monthly update. This video is going to get you up to speed on everything that was released. Let's dive into it right now. We're going to go through the Copilot AI updates. There are kind of three updates. We're going to talk through each of these updates. Also, the biggest update is on the reporting layer pertaining to visual calculation, now conditional formatting. We're going to demo that. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you this new feature. You're going to understand it. After that, there's some modeling updates, some things that happen with the semantic modeling that we'll talk through, as well as improvements to connectors. Finally, there's a monitoring hub update. We're going to cover these, as well as some events that are coming up. So if you want to stay up to date, hit subscribe, like this. You're going to keep getting more and more Power BI content. Now let's get into this update. We're going to show you what it's all about. All right, here we are in Power BI Desktop. Here is the release of the updates that came out uh, for the February update. We're gonna cover the ones in green specifically. What you can do is go to the GitHub as well in the video description, and you can download this file to follow along, use the same data, demo the features as you see fit. We're gonna talk through all of these. Let's get into it. Events. Firstly, this is kind of cool. These are kind of typical that they come out with, but there's a first ever Power BI Data Visual World Championship. If you're interested in that, scope it out. You got some skills, show them off. Uh, you can see there's different rounds and then everybody kind of qualifies. You get to go fight it out for visual design, uh, I think in like Vegas or something cool like that. So check it out, it's pretty neat. Let's get into the feature updates. And I'm gonna demo this as well so you can see how this works too. So kind of the two bigger ones are now within Copilot, if you have that set up, uh, and I'll show you another video for how to do that. Well, there's just some updates that, that just describe simplistically how Copilot arrived to this, and I'll show you how it works. And then as well, uh, another uh, option to explore the visual too. So what's that mean? All right, well, firstly, if you're curious about how to configure Copilot to work with your setup, you can watch this video, Unveiling Power BI Copilot Insights. Uh, I'll put it in the video description as well. But let's actually demo this and see how it works. So there's also uh, explore more from Copilot Answers so you can kind of dig into it. This feature, it's saying that it's here, but I'm not seeing it yet deployed. But let's look together. So what I can do is, let me move this video screen to the bottom left. I'll go to Copilot. So I was just messing with this here. So for example, this data model that we have uh, it's just it's the Microsoft model. It's showing net sales per store. So if I ask the question, uh, I'll actually change it up. What are the what what is the total returns per store in we'll say February 2023? This data is an older data set, but when I'm running this, Copilot's doing its thing now. It's kind of you know going to the model, checking stuff out using its intelligence. And now uh, you can see similarly to how it was returned uh, in the demo, but we're gonna have, this might or might not be populated. I've seen it work, sometimes it hasn't, but all this whole feature is, is instead of it just telling you what's there, now it will have this how Copilot arrived at this. And in this case it's populated. So it says we interpreted your question as what is the total return dollars, which is a measure that I have in here, uh, per store in February. Uh, unclear what is meant by total in this context. So maybe if I wanted to change the prompt, we could do that. Uh, it shows the filters applied. It shows the dimensions. So it's a nice way to kind of further explain how Copod arrived at, you know, its decisions. And that's how it works. So if you're using Copilot to analyze your data, you'll now have that feature. There's one other thing here too. Um, again, uh, we actually went through it. Yeah. Oh, this right here. Uh, explore this visual. So you can see that this shows explore this visual and it says explore more from Copilot visual answers. Well, it's not showing up over here yet. So it's probably something that's going to be rolled out, but it just gives a little bit, you know, additional information. Next for the reporting update, this is without a doubt the best update or the, of this, the best feature in this update. So I'm going to demo it as well. You're going to understand what it is and it's conditional formatting support for visual calculations. If you don't know what visual calculations are, I'm going to set one up real quick so you'll see. But then also I have a video, uh, Power BI visual calculations complete tutorial. You can scope that out. I'll put the link in the description too. We'll show you how to set this stuff up in detail. 
but let's demo it. So the biggest problem that happened is after visualization, visual calculations came out, you weren't able to leverage them in conditional formatting for themselves or for referencing other fields. I'm going to show you what this update is. You're going to get all the insight here in one quick section. So here's a simple table. I'm just taking store and net sales and showing it. So let's add a visual calculation. That's going to do the percent of total. And then just as a demonstrative educational purpose, we'll do conditional formatting that highlights this new column, but then we'll also highlight the net sales utilizing the visual calculation. Again, you can see how it functions. So when you're creating it, you're going to go to home, new visual calculation, and it's pretty easy how these things work, honestly, but you're going to just go, in this case, we'll go percent of grand total populates a new screen. And again, the other tutorial I have will show you how to kind of type all this stuff up, but it's pretty simple. So in this case, we're gonna go net sales, net sales here as well, access rows, hit enter. Cool. It just did all that. We didn't have to type any DAX, which is a great way for visual calculations. Uh, now we've added it, but this is just another side kind of bonus, I guess. I have an update that came out a little while ago is that you can now format these two very easily versus having to code it. So I just went to actually the properties, which is a little different place to go. Percent of grand total, uh, decimal, but now format percentage, just a small tweak, you know, extra stuff. There you go. Now conditional formatting used to not be able to be available. What I mean by that specifically is let's if go back to the visual and I'm going to go to the specific column. Now I'm going to actually choose percent of grand total, which is this new column I've created. And uh, I, I will go to cell elements where we can do some dynamic stuff. So percent percent of grand total. Now I can conditionally format it, you know, configuring it the same way, highest to lowest. Okay. That's great. But then also what you can do now, which you couldn't do, it's a standard power BI feature, but you couldn't do it with visual calculations is say the net sales. Well, let's turn the background color on for this, but let's actually change it. And now we can configure it based upon the visual calculation value. And, you know, we'll just maybe swap these for the fun of it, just to show it's different. And now it's, that's how you work it and you're set. That is the update. It is a valuable update because not being able to utilize conditional formatting on a visual calculation was a issue. But now it's working. Rock and roll. Next one. Azure Maps. This is going to be a non-demoed update, but essentially it's another thing they say it's coming soon. That's great. It's a feature probably not many people use, but if you're publishing maps to the public, uh, essentially there's, you know, enhancements to that for, uh, for it rolling out where you can just have fewer steps, I believe, to make it happen. Moving on. The modeling updates. It's really small stuff, but when they first, they said they have a new snowflake connector, faster stuff makes works better. Uh, well, they released, they released it in January and it just didn't work that well. Let's say they took some feedback. I tried it before making this, uh, I was having the same issues, so it's just still not working that well. I wouldn't recommend using it at this point, maybe next month. We'll see how that goes. Uh, this is what they, promoted as well as one of the bigger features, this live edit of semantic modelings, uh, modeling, uh, models in the service, a 50% improvement in modeling change performance. So kind of a back end thing. I'm not sure how many people are editing live semantic models in power BI service, but if you are, it's going to be a little bit faster and, uh, you should be able to, you know, enjoy that. So finally the monitoring hub. All right, this is kind of cool. It's specifically for administrators. So if you are a normal user on the Power BI service, you will not see this monitoring section on the left. If you are an administrator and you log in and you've enabled this monitoring hub feature, then when you go here, it's actually going to show every single semantic model in your entire service, which is cool because it's going to show you the status of it. If it's refreshed successfully, if it failed, um, all semantic models published across your entire enterprise. But then what you can do 
is with this update as well, you can click a semantic model and it will give you details pertaining to the refresh itself. And that is everything that they've released for February 2025. The best update is really this conditional formatting. The other stuff's kind of small. It's not a meaty update by any means, but you will always understand what comes out in every update uh, with this channel. So again, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question. Uh, thank you for your support and uh, you'll have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.